Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure email forwarding for a mailbox in Exchange Online. Email forwarding lets you set up a mailbox to forward email messages sent to that mailbox to another user's mailbox in or outside of your organization. Email forwarding is useful when the employee is gone for a vacation or left the company. The alternative person can handle the mail flow. We can use Microsoft 365 Admin Center and Exchange Admin Center to configure email forwarding. In this video, we will see the both options to configure email forwarding. First of all, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. For that, open the web browser and type in the URL https colon double slash admin dot microsoft dot com and press enter key. Enter the email address of your global administrator, which is cladmin at clarex dot on microsoft dot com in my case. Now I'm going to press enter key. Enter the user password. After entering the user password, click on sign in. In the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'm going to click on Users and click on Active Users. First, we will use Microsoft 365 Admin Center to configure email forwarding for a mailbox. On the Active Users page, select the user whose email you want to forward. In my case, I'm going to select the user Sophie Turner. So let's click on it. Now click on Mail tab. Under the email forwarding, click on Manage Email Forwarding link. On the email forwarding page, we need to select Forward all email sent to this mailbox checkbox. So I'm going to select it and enter the forwarding email address and choose whether you want to keep a copy of forwarded mails in user's mailbox or not. Let's enter the forwarding email address, uh, which is going to be parita b at clarex.onmicrosoft.com So this is the email address of a user Parita Boda. I also want to select this checkbox to keep a copy of forwarded email in user Sophie Turner's mailbox. Fine. And uh, let me tell you one thing that if you don't see this option, make sure a license is assigned to the user account. Okay. Let's uh, click on save changes button. And we can see mailbox email forwarding information has been updated successfully. I'm going to close it. And suppose if you want to forward the mail to multiple email addresses, create a distribution list and then set up forwarding to point to the distribution list email addressing using the same steps which we have followed earlier. And once you set up email forwarding, only new emails sent to that mailbox will be forwarded. To test email forwarding, we will send a test message to our user Sophie Turner and later check the mailbox of our user Parita Borda to check for the message. Uh, let's click on a menu, click on Outlook and open Outlook on the web in a new tab. I have opened the mailbox of our administrator Manhar Rakhulia. Let's compose a new message by clicking on new message. Let's click on to. Click on all users. And uh, select the email address of our users, Sophie Turner. Okay. Click on plus icon. And click on save. Okay. So when to send the message to our users, Sophie Turner. Okay, after composing the message, I'm going to click on send to send the message. Let's click on send items to confirm that we have successfully sent the message to Sophie Turner. Okay, now I'm going to open the new in private tab as we are going to access the mailbox of our user Parita. Let's enter the URL https colon double slash outlook dot office dot com. Let's press enter key. We are accessing the mailbox of a user Parita Boda. 
So this is the email address parita b at clarex dot on microsoft dot com. Click on next, enter the user password, and click on sign in. Okay, we can see the message from Manohar Rakhulia. So we can see this message is sent by our administrator Manohar Rakhulia to Sophie Turner. But still, Parita received the copy of this message due to email forwarding. So we can confirm that we have successfully configured email forwarding for the mailbox of our user Sophie Turner. Now let's see how we can configure email forwarding. Using Exchange Admin Center web interface. Let's go back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and first of all, we need to open Exchange Admin Center web interface. Uh, for that, I'm going to click on Show All on Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and click on Exchange. This is going to open Exchange Admin Center. You can also access Exchange Admin Center directly. Using the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com. In the Exchange Admin Center, you need to click on Recipients, and then after you need to click on Mailboxes. Fine. Uh, from the list of user mailboxes, uh, select the mailbox that you want to configure mail forwarding for. Uh, in this example, I'm going to select the mailbox of a user Shane Watson. Uh, let's click on it. Here we have a slightly different options uh, on mailbox tab under mail flow settings. We need to click on manage mail flow settings, and you can see here we have options to configure email forwarding. To configure email forwarding, we need to click on this edit button. By default, the forward all emails sent to this mailbox setting is off. Let's turn it on. Okay, and under forwarding address text box. Now we need to enter the forwarding email address. Let's again enter the email address of our user Parita Borda. Okay. Uh, here, good thing is that we don't need to type the email address. Instead of we can just uh, type the name of our user and associated email address of that user will be populated automatically. If you want to keep a copy of forwarded email in this mailbox, you need to turn on this settings as well. Okay, now I'm going to click on save. Let's wait for a few seconds. We can see the message that settings has been updated. It may take up to five minutes to apply the settings properly. Click on close to exit from the manage mailbox settings display page. And again, I'm going to click on close to close this page as well. Now, if you want to test this. You can again send the text message on that given email address. Uh, let's check out that as well. Let's click on mail. Let's compose a new message. Click on to, and this time we want to send the message to our user Shan Watson. Click save. Let's add subject. Okay. After composing the message, I'm going to click on send. Let's click on send items. We can confirm that the message has been sent successfully. Now let's check the mailbox of our user Parita Borda. We can see another message is there from administrator, and this message is sent to our user Sam Watson. But still, Parita is receiving a copy of that message due to email forwarding. One more method is that we can also enable or disable email forwarding using Outlook or Outlook on the web as well. But that I'm not going to cover in this video. That concludes the video on how to configure email forwarding using Microsoft 365 Admin Center and Exchange Admin Center web interface. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.